Hello, and welcome to the Daily Almanac for August 29th. So, let's get started. First day in history! <laughs> On this day in history, August 29th, 1866, a demonstration was given of the first cog railway in the world. At Mount Washington, New Hampshire, the highest peak in the northeastern United States. A cog railway allows trains to operate on very steep slopes. The Mount Washington Cog Railway eventually ran to the summit of Mount Washington. Today, it remains in use, the only cog railway still powered by steam. Also, on this day in 1876, Charles Franklin Kettering was born. He was an engineer whose patents included the electric starter for cars. He invented the key operating self-starting motor for the Cadillac in 1912. The use of the electric starter spread to nearly all new cars by the 1920s. And in 1966, the Beatles performed their last concert at Candlestick Park in San Francisco. Today on Word Power, we're going to talk about the word folktale. A folktale is a story that is passed down from generation to generation. The story isn't based on real life events and instead can take place at any time and in any place. An example of a folktale is the story of the three Billy Goats Gruff. The three Billy Goats Gruff had to cross a river in order to get to the mountain where they could graze. The only way to cross the river was over a bridge. But underneath the bridge lived a troll who ate anyone that tried to cross. The smallest goat crossed first and told the troll not to eat him, but to wait for his bigger brother who was coming next. The second goat did the same, but when the biggest goat came across the bridge, the troll came to eat him up. But the goat was too big and he butted the troll back into the river. And that is the end of the folktale. Today on Extremes, we ask, where is the longest burning fire in the world? The answer is under a mountain in New South Wales, Australia. Scientists believe that this underground blaze started about 5,000 years ago after a coal seam in the mountain was struck by lightning. As the coal burns, the fire goes deeper underground, and it's now burning 100 feet below the surface of the Earth, or 30.5 meters. Now, as you might imagine, people used to think that it was a volcano, but it isn't. Health tips. <laughs> you might not think of kindness as a healthy habit, but it is. When you're kind to someone else, you feel better about yourself. And when you feel better about yourself, you take better care of yourself. When you're kind to others, they're usually kind to you in return. When people are kind to you, you feel better about yourself. And when you feel better about yourself, you take better care of yourself. Oh, it may sound a little complicated, but all it actually takes is a simple act of kindness. I dive Sometimes people bring certain kinds of plants home that grew originally in far away places. This happens for lots of reasons. They may have pretty flowers or yummy berries. Plants brought from far away are called non-native plants. Himalayan blackberry bushes are an example of a non-native plant. They were brought from Eurasia to California by immigrants. They have delicious juicy berries but once they were planted in California, they started to spread like wildfire. Non-native plants that spread very quickly are called invasive because they invade and take over a landscape. In Chico, California, 
school kids are working together to take care of their local parks. With the help of their teachers and parents, they are removing Himalayan blackberry bushes. That way, the plants that belong there, that are native to California, have a chance to survive. Well, that's all the time we have left today for Daily Almanac. Thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you tomorrow.